Greetings, Eric Packer, naturopath from New Zealand. I've got a question here regarding candida and memory loss. Can candida cause memory loss? Well, the way I see it, when you've got a problem with your digestive system, especially candida imbalance in the gut, it can cause a whole bunch of different problems. A long time ago, when I was a student, we used to think that you know people who had memory loss or things like bipolar or schizophrenia or depression or anxiety or mood disorders, it was a brain-based problem. We didn't think that the gut actually affected the brain that much back in the 70s and 80s. You know, we had some idea that there was a powerful immune presence in the gut, but we had no idea that most of the hormones that influence how we think and feel are actually produced in the digestive system. It's incredible. So we're learning so much more about what we call the second brain now with the gut. And the second brain has a powerful influence on the primary brain. So if you have got a problem with the gut, a gut dysfunction, particularly the small intestine, a real imbalance through antibiotics or stress or you know crappy food or crappy lifestyle or things like that. If your gut's really affected, it's going to affect how you think and feel. And of course, it's going to affect the memory. It's going to affect the mood. It's going to make you more irritable. John Hopkins University in 2016 did a large research on bipolar, schizophrenia, and candida, and they found an absolute link there. For example, they found that men who had a, a big candida problem were more likely to have uh, you know, serious mood disorders. To me, it makes sense that if you've got serious problems with memory, particularly short-term memory, and you've got a digestive problem, you want to get the gut problem fixed to see if there's a link between that and how you're thinking and feeling. So, can candida cause memory loss? Well, that's a difficult one to say, you know. But if you have got a big problem with memory you know, or cognition or thinking in general and you've got things like bloating or gas or constipation or diarrhea or if you're on any kind of pharmaceutical drug long term, if you've been on antibiotics, if you've taken Tylenol, ibuprofen or you know, a proton pump inhibitor like an acid kind of a, you know, blocking drug, if you've been on a drug regularly and you notice a memory problem, I would say you you absolutely need to get you know get a handle on this. Try and stop the drug, or take some natural kind of medicine instead, you know, and then see how the memory goes. Particularly if you've done a stool test, found you've got poor levels of beneficial bacteria, and you've got memory loss and poor back good bacteria. I would absolutely recommend that you build the, the good bacteria back up again and then see what happens to the memory loss. So remember also that memory is like a muscle that can be trained. I watched a very good uh, TED talk, a YouTube video the other day on how to build up a powerful memory. Anybody can build a powerful memory. It's just a matter of like going to the gym, training that muscle. So memory can be built up. You can develop a powerful memory. Stress has a great way to destroy short-term memory. Long-term memory stays intact. You talk to even people with dementia or Alzheimer's and they can still recall stuff that happened 30, 40 years ago. It's the short-term memory that gets affected. The ability to imprint information that we hear of, you know, yesterday, for example. Many people, if you ask what they had for breakfast yesterday, they'd have difficulty telling you that, which is incredible. Now, let me remember, where was I? Can memory, can can be the cause memory loss? That's right. I forgot. <laughs> Um, I would say there's certainly some type of link there. But as I mentioned previous, especially if you've got a digestive problem, you want to get a handle on it. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks for tuning in.